Rumors are that allegedly Candy is completely over this one thing at Bravo. Is it bad enough to where she'll leave the network altogether? Well, I have some new information that may answer that question and more right after this. What's up, Kimfo? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Kimfo. Come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Candy is completely over this one thing at Bravo. Is it enough to make her leave the network altogether? Well, I have some new information that may answer that question and more. And here it goes. Industry insiders are happy that Candy Burris called out fans for their disrespectful comments regarding Riley's appearances on The Real Housewives of Atlanta and on Candy spinoffs. Sources say, allegedly, this is something Candy has constantly complained about in private for years. The disgusting and disrespectful comments from fans really angered Candy every time incidents happened on social media, said the source. Other insiders were angry that Bravo appeared to allow such disrespectful comments to happen for so long without stepping in. Yes, the kids are a part of the housewives reality. And yes, they open up their lives to us freely. However, that doesn't mean disrespect should be tolerated, ended the source. So, will Bravo actually step in and solve this problem before it's too late? Well, sources say, yes. Although no plan from the network has been announced on how they will combat this issue, sources say that with their recent statements condemning online bullying of Garcelle's sons, it appears that they are finally ready to make the right steps to solve this issue. Allegedly, incidents regarding online bullying got so bad that Candy allegedly contemplated leaving the show. She was completely over it one season, said the source, but can you blame her? Here she is trying to create generational wealth for her kids and family, and online trolls are constantly trying to tear her and her family down. Fans also have had enough of the disrespect and allegedly have started to petition Andy and Bravo to do more. Sources say they have never seen fans so angry about the mistreatment of the kids on the Real Housewives franchises. That can only mean that things in the Bravo universe have gotten worse, ended the source. Now Kim folk, when Candy first um, brought to light this week about how sick and tired she was of the constant bullying of her family especially her kids on social media it really uh hit home for me because as you know um there was a recent report that young ladies uh suffer a lot of mental anguish that comes from social media about either not feeling pretty enough trying to live up to social standards and social norms of beauty and also feeling as if they would never achieve that type of beauty which means they'll never achieve that type of acceptance by society and that really played heavily on young girls minds so this data and this research showed so when candy was saying that she was completely upset and over how all of this bullying um, was going on about Riley and I think her appearance I can only I can understand where her frustration was coming from now I will say this about this issue that you know I kind of agree with some fans in regards to candy and it's this a lot of fans when candy um made this or did this interview regarding online bullying of 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 riley they kind of felt like candy being a celebrity for as long as she has been she understands that she understand that this comes with the territory of being on reality tv 
And with those fans, I could see where they're coming from. And after they had been on the Housewives franchise, I think now for about, what, oh, what 12 years or so? Or 13 years or so? That Candy should pr pretty much understand this comes along with the territory. And that she should have been protecting Riley mentally a long time ago. Preparing her for when she did become of age. To where she can really process what's going on. That it wouldn't mentally affect her um, in any way. Now, I also say this, Candy could have very well had been doing those things with Riley as she continued to grow up on the show. And a part of me believes she has been doing that. But I think what Candy is speaking to is that she's speaking to the motherly frustration that she had um, and she has when people come from her come for her daughter online. And I do know that um, the Peach Report daily, when it comes to... Uh, the them posting about the housewives and their children they normally turn the comments off they normally turn the comment section off on those um posts just to help keep down some of those negative comments that come from some of the fans in regards to the housewives and their kids um it's very uh unfortunate but i will say this you know the Housewives universe can become very toxic, especially on social media and especially on Twitter, as we all have seen. But in the past, they never really came for the kids. But I know exactly why a lot of Housewives fans started feeling comfortable with attacking uh, the Housewives kids. And it was after this happened. This shift in um, leaving the kids out of the drama and not bringing kids into the drama. I feel like it all started when Kim's daughter Brielle was filming in Nene's house during that white part of that season and a roach or water bug or something came across the came across the uh, floor. And so the whole thing came about that Kim was saying Nene had roaches and da 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 this and da 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 that. And if you remember, Nene got on social media and she attacked Brie L. And I remember, I can't remember what she said exactly. And also, I can't remember what Brie L said exactly as well. But I do know that Nene went pretty hard on Brie L. I'm not sure if Brie L was 18 at the time or 16 or 17. But however, it was a child of the housewife of a housewife. And I think a lot of fans took their note from Nene. That's saying that if Nene has broke that long-standing code of leaving the kids out of it and not addressing the kids directly, then I think a lot of fans started to feel comfortable with uh, attacking um, the housewives' kids online and on social media. The same thing with Kenya. Kenya didn't necessarily directly attack Brielle, but she did bring up what Kim had said about Brielle and the John Legend tickets. So I really do feel like that is what that was the turning point where fans really started to uh, pretty much break down their fourth wall and not attacking the kids and started attacking the kids. And it's been very unfortunate they have decided to do so in the manner in which they have been doing it. Now, I will say this. Um, I do believe that Bravo is now seeing that this is an issue because they recently spoke out about the treatment of uh, Garcelle's sons. And I think it was because Garcelle was very vocal about it. So I think now we're seeing more house, more housewives become very vocal about the mistreating and the online bullying of their children. And I think that's making Bravo take notice to the issue. And I do believe they're going to start making some steps and taking some steps to keep that uh, issue down but Kim folk I want to know what you guys think do you think the bullying of the housewives children has gotten so out of control that Bravo should step in and do something about it or do you believe that the bullying of the kids is just something that comes along with their parent being only out of the TV and the parents just should brace for it and try to combat it but don't expect anything to change let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all right, Kim Folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.